Hey guys, this is Alchemist OA, and today we are going to be looking at a build of mine. This is an older build, but it's still really awesome. And I'm planning to upload this to Planet Minecraft so people can download it. So let's take a look at it. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 blah 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 blah. Behold, this is the Tower of Orthanc, the Tower of Suramun, the Tower of Isengard. It is just a tower, not full Isengard. Um, this is a really big build. It's over 200 blocks high. I think it comes to like 220 something to be exact. And I tried to put as much detail and as much of um. Yeah, as much detail in as possible. It's uh, really awesome, but the insides are incomplete. However, I don't mind that the insides are incomplete because it allows people to kind of build the insides how they like. Um, I've previously had an arena in the bottom of this thing. I've had many different floors on this thing, inside this thing. Um, so having it hollow allows people to recreate how they think the inside of this would have looked and as I recall the tower is built in the second age of Lord of the Rings and it's actually it was forged using a secret process that made it pretty much impenetrable to any weapon they had at the time and I put this aside so or thank build by built by null alchemist. Who the heck put that there? Um must have been my friend when I was showing it off to him. Um anyway, we're gonna take a look at this. See it has a lot of detail work. A lot of stairs and windows and meshes and it's extremely detailed a very elaborate build um, I did this weird um, thing with the stairs at the time to create a sort of different texture to make it stand out in the layers and it turned out really well um, this is a like I said an older build so I didn't have a whole lot of option on blocks to use when I built it and it just keeps going up and up and up and here's the top pretend you're Gandalf fly the eagles away and it goes all the way up this is 244 blocks high plus there's a little bit of stuff on the ground so it's probably about 248 something blocks high um, it's really big it's not going to be easy to fit into worlds without MC editing it down to near bedrock I mean I, I think I'm pretty close to bedrock here yeah if there was bedrock I would be close to it so anything but anything anyway let's go inside here and we'll take a look at the inside and this is the inside I have this little platform here and that's it. The inside is completely empty like I said. And pretty impressive looking on the inside. Um, like I said, it's, you can create what you want in here. I had a battle arena in the battle of this thing. I had some libraries going up it. I never actually filled up the entire tower. So it's, it's huge. It really is. And I think this is probably my favorite build I've ever done. It used to be featured on my channel art. And it's just, it's amazing. So, I recommend you go ahead and download it. I'll upload it as an MC edit schematic, most likely. And you can import it into your world and give it a look-see over and play around with it and... Well, plot the fall of man and create your orc armies and all that good stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.
Bye bye.